Long ago, I did a list on top 5 favorite Sonic characters, so I decided to do another list, but what of? Well, if you don't know, I enjoyed the Sonic comics possibly more than some Sonic games. They had some great stories and brought some back some lost characters with developed personalities. And we shouldn't forget that there was a bunch of villains. Some you might recognize, and some that are brand new. So on aside for this list, I will do my top 6 favorite Sonic villains in comics. Why 6? Well, let's just say there was just one villain I couldn't leave out. So let's join the dark side and get started. Number 6. King Shadow. Okay, this is where we get taken to the future where apparently Sonic is king now and has a family with Sally. Oh, goody. I wouldn't care less about this whole story if it wasn't for this crazy bastard. Okay, I don't remember the whole story, so bear with me. Apparently, Shadow is married to Sally. Okay. Which makes him a king, and it turns out he becomes a dark asshole, and it seems he wants to wreck the world. So basically, Shadow in Sonic Adventure 2, however, he remembers Maria. I mean, he made a statue of her, which, which to be honest was kind of sweet, but the main reason he makes it on this list is how he thinks of wrecking the world. Okay, apparently, he has trapped to call Spirit, and then he gives a lot of his chaos power to her, so she gets corrupted and transformed to perfect chaos. The fuck? And what makes it weirder is that after Sonic and the others defeat it, Shadow is never seen again. That's it. Okay... Did Shadow kill himself or something? Oh well, the story is never spoken again and I guess it's better that way. Number 5. Mogul. You're grounded. But I I'm not your son- YOU HEARD ME MOTHERFUCKER! It's difficult to talk about Elephant Man because... Sure, he wants to take over the world, sure, he's a demigod, but he oddly has a heart? Sadly, I did not read all the issues where he was in it, however, I do remember he explained that he has the ability to be immortal as shown he has lived on for generations. So since he is a demigod, he could do batshit things like summoning Sonic's friend to do his bidding, but Mogul can't control him unless they were marked. Still, Mogul understands the character's situation, and it seems he tried to help them. Heck, in the Silver Arc, you find out Mogul is Silver's master. That's pretty interesting. And now, just for a friend of mine, I will play this music for this one paddle of Mogul. Hope you enjoyed it. Number 4. Eggman or Robotnik? Okay, Dr. Fat Fuck. I couldn't choose which one I prefer, so I'm gonna say Archie inside the comic. Sometimes I want to punch this guy in the face, because shouldn't this guy with an IQ of 300 figure out how to defeat a blue hedgehog already? I guess not. With that aside, Eggman is still entertained to see in any of the comics, since he's a crazy old man with funny yet terrifying facial expressions. There was points where he was pretty successful, but of course, it will fail due to one stupid mistake. Especially on that one issue where he could have killed Sonic, but instead he just left him. Like, seriously, he was right there. He drove you crazy ever since 1991. WHY WOULD YOU NOT KILL HIM?! Anyway, Eggman still is one of my favorite villains since, well, it's Eggman. Expect some funny and ridiculous moments with him. That saved his spot here. Number 3, Scourge. Oh man, this guy was in my list of favorite Sonic characters. As I said before, Scourge is a badass dick, but I love him no matter what. I still question why Archie decided to get rid of Scourge after a damn reset. Cause this guy was pretty unique. He wanted to take over both worlds just because he wants to, and if you don't know, his dad barely took care of him so he felt abandoned. And there might have been a clue that he killed his dad, so there's that. Scourge was a damn womanizer. Have you seen how many ladies he hit on? Heck, it looked like he was asking Sonic out in his own way. Bitch got swag. Anyway, Scourge might be my favorite villain in Archie, aside from Team Hooligan. You what, mate? 
Number two, Fleetway Supersonic. Oh, Fleetway, at least we have one thing in common. We're both mad. If you people never read the side of the comic, Fleetway was a dangerous villain who was pretty damn difficult to defeat. What do you want? CHAOS EVERYWHERE! But why? Because he's pissed and he can't chill. That's pretty much the reason. I mean, wouldn't you? First time meeting him, he gets trapped in a computer screen. Oh wait, the Omniviewer. I'm calling him Mr. Windows 10 because being stuck in there would be a nightmare. Windows Jug, have a good die! Later on the comics, Fleetwood of course escapes and well, I can't quite remember how it happened, but it turns out Fleetwood becomes a part of Sonic's body. And if Sonic gets mad, then Fleetway will be unleashed. Get it? Because of Sonic Unleashed! HA! I think that'll be pretty difficult for this Sonic, since he seems to look like the most angry Sonic I ever seen. I mean, this bitch barely smiles. Still love him though. I should also point out there was a moment where Flippy gained amnesia, and from that be became an innocent character. He had some friends who accepted him, but of course, if the Sonic found out, he'll be pissed about it. Anyway, Fleetway is entertaining to watch, especially that moment where he laughs like a maniac. <laughs> okay, I bet you wonder, who could possibly be my number one villain? Haha, <laughs> nope, it's not Fang, I'm thinking about a different weasel. Someone named Knack. Haha, <laughs> nope, not that Knack. I'm talking about that Knack who impacted the story quite a bit. I'm talking about that Knack the Weasel from Side the Comic. Okay, where do I begin with this guy? Okay, let me cut it down. One, he does not need a T to do his bidding. Two, a mercenary is more like a side job to him. Three, he can create his own gadgets. Four, it was said he was wealthy. Five, it was also said he was a scientist which explains high intelligence. And six, he gets away from everything. Now, I bet you think that there is no way that Nat can be like this. Oh, trust me, everything I said was true. And I swear on this. If Eggman was not the main villain anymore in this series, then I am pretty sure Knack will take his fucking place. This guy has backup plans after backup plans. In the beginning, he was there to fuck around just to get some money. He fooled the fucking Chaotis into a death trap, and no matter how many times he went to jail, he always escapes. Remember the issue when Knack shrunk everyone, then Sonic shrunk him to nothing? Well, guess what? He had a backup plan for that. I... That's... <laughs> How? How can you think of this shit? Later on in the comics, Knack was getting developed more even though he appeared less than Fang in the Archie comics. And as I said, Knack did impact the story. Whenever Sonic or anyone tries to defeat him, they seem to fail since Knack always thinks ahead. The most mind-blown issue was on the side of the comic online, where Tails and everyone else thought he died by drowning in the water, when really, he is still alive and has some kind of underwater hideout. Yeah, he planned this. What? what? You know the issue when Nack and Grimer shrunk themselves to Adam just so they can save Eggman in this new world? Well, there was supposed to be an issue where Amy and Sonic chased Nack everywhere, but due to the writer getting fired, it never happened. I really am curious how that chase scene would go down, because it seems Nack gets away anyway. Even though he is seen as a major villain since he would not give two shits killing children, he does have his own story. I'm not joking, he has his own story. Nack for the first time actually got his own issue, which was about him going against the Elks and freeing his own people from slavery. I don't think any other villain got his own issue except for Eggman. He's smart, badass, and dangerous. I think that's another reason on why Nack the Weasel is my favorite villain in comics. 
I hope you enjoyed my list, guys, and uh, have a good day. <laughs>